Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Let's Go Fishing Sim. Today we're going to continue with my career. It's the Jenko Fishing Pro Invitational in Lake Boulder. I am going to be bringing um, the Jenko Gambler Casting, 13 Fishing Concept Z Reel, 40 pound Versa Braid Black for the line. I'm going to try out mainly the Ben Parker Magnum, Shattered Glass Gold, Baby D Destroyer, and Yum Christy Crown Natural. This one I'm gonna flip maybe between Shads, maybe I'll try Yum Dingers, maybe I'll try Warms. But I'm definitely gonna start with these two and maybe switch to other, like I'll stay with this type of lure. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens guys. We'll play it by ear. So basically, let's get started, all right? Okay, so here we're going to start at the Gills Bay Shack, and basically we're heading northbound, guys, all the way to the edge of Lily Bay. Depending on your boat, it'll take about, let's just say two minutes, for the sake of, I don't know what boat you have, right, in the game, but... It's going to take about two minutes to get there, You join us here on the water today as the let this guy talk. <laughs> Yeah guys, so it's well worth it to lose those two minutes because basically the spot we're going is where I caught the biggest muskie I've ever caught in this game. I am gonna I made a clip of that and I am gonna leave a link in the description below. Go check it out. I think in the video I say it was a three minute fight. Really it's a five minute fight. Biggest uh, pike or muskie I've ever caught. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. So we are gonna be going to that exact same spot with the same lure I caught that fish and then hopefully we can get some nice long fish because that's how you win this game. The spot where we're going um, is basically great for multi-species. I found pike there, there, muskies, brown trout, rainbow trout, salmon, and I wasn't getting a lot of bass, so these lures I'm using is because I'm trying to avoid the bass. Also, I'm gonna use shads with um, cause the bass do go for the for the spoon. But you know, if I'm getting a lot of bass or anything like that, they I won't because I wasn't getting that many when I came here before. But yeah, basically, you want to go all the way to the edge, past these lilies. And then once you get closer to those rocks, you're going to turn to the right. And then, yeah, that's where we're going to be aiming, this general area there. So, let's see, we'll get started with... Well, look, I caught that massive fish with this lure here, so the Baby D Destroyer, so that's what we're going to use. Okay, guys? Alright, perfect, so let's do this. And we're probably going to do a, a constant or retrieve on this. Okay, nothing there, I'm actually going to move the boat a little this way. I don't feel like I'm in the same exact spot where I was, and uh, I'm trying to be consistent just to make sure that, you know, when people do go to these areas, they at least try to get some fish, right? Okay, so here we go, second attempt, I'm going to do the same retrieve, I pretty much start retrieving it right away. Just a constant retrieve for now. There we go. Got a poor strike because uh, I was kind of twitching it there. But uh, okay, it looks like it's a rainbow trout. So it's a predator. It's good. It's not going to be very long. pretty aggressive with this just because 
I don't really want to waste my time with this little fish. Don't really mind that much if I lose them, even though that's not a good attitude because we need we need all the length we can get to win this. So let's see. All right, see, little tiny 17-inch. But uh, I guess it's better than nothing. We are in second place, so let's keep going. I can't remember if you can twitch uh, this lure. I don't think you can. Oh, you can. Perfect. So, we'll try twitching it. It's hard to get a consistent twitch in this game. I've been uh, trying different techniques to do it. I might actually make a video on how to do this because I find it pretty difficult. And uh, it's hard to get a consistent twitch, but. Uh, here, you know what? Let's try it right now. So basically my technique for this, for twitching, is, you know, let it go far. And then I actually bring down my reel to about yay. And then start a 2 or 3 retrieve. And then just start going like this. And then boom. We got the twitch slow. Starts turning red. Sometimes it'll go to constant. I try varying the speed. Yeah, see, it's not working very well, guys. I actually find the easiest lure to twitch with is the Shad. So we'll try that again, but anyway, I am getting no bites here. Which is not good. We're going to move on to the Spoon, guys, okay? Try the Spoon. Alright, perfect, we got something. It's fast moving. Oh. Actually, it's not as fast moving as I initially thought. Oh. Easy fella. You know, guys, I'm still not sure what this is gonna be. It could be, um. Oh, it jumped. Doesn't really feel like a bass. could be a salmon or a, or a trout, I guess, but it could also be like a small... Oh, I think it is a bass, guys. It's weird, because it doesn't really... Ooh, I am uh, <laughs> tempting fate right now. But yeah, it's definitely a bass, I'm pretty sure. And it's not a tiny bass, it's actually bigger than the trout we caught, so we're still in good shape. We are still in good shape, guys. Like I said uh, earlier, the bass do go for the, the spoon as much as the pike do, so we'll do one more toss with the spoon. And then, yeah, we'll move on to trying different lures, see what happens, guys. We'll try at three. I find sometimes if you go faster, you tend to get more you know, a variety. I usually catch bass with a 1 or a 2. Sometimes I've caught trout and pike with a 3, though the bass will also go for that. Um, okay. Let's try over to the lilies over here. Again, a pretty fast on 3 constant retrieve. We are not getting like a lot of bites, which is kind of weird because I was absolutely getting so many bites when I came here initially. I just need to back up this way and we'll try these lilies over here. Going back to this guy, man. I caught the biggest pike, the biggest muskie with this. Let's try our luck. I'm going closer to the reeds on the left now. A 
We'll see what happens. Here we go. Okay, guys, they're just not going for that, so let's change the game plan altogether. Sometimes we gotta improvise. Uh, we'll try Candy Grass. And we'll try uh, Spoon still. No, actually, you know what? I am gonna go with this guy. This guy I've caught tons of predators with. Let's try it out. Alright, guys, I gotta. Okay, let's try this out. Let's try twitching this as much as we can. Okay. Let's see what we have here now. That was with the with the ocean breeze. And uh yeah, I think this is gonna be a musky guys. Just or a catfish maybe. It's kinda like carp, right? They drag the line and it's just very steady. All you have to do is kind of pull back the rod, wait for them to tire out, wait for them to stop dragging the line, and reel him in. This might be actually a decent fish, guys, just based on the fact that he took my line 90 yards out, 100 yards out. You could even increase the drag until you start hearing that red bing. Uh, then you back off of it just because you don't want to lose a gorgeous fish like this one probably is. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm pretty happy we got an interesting fish here. I'm going to increase that drag to 40. And just see if we can tire him out a little quicker here. Oh, that's not the sound you want to hear. And uh, I think we got a good strike. So I was twitching there. What I find with twitching, because I use the L2 to twitch, it's just uh, sometimes you don't get the best strike on them. Wow, this is amazing, guys. Alright, he's starting to come in. Again, I'm reeling right now, keeping it kind of like not the reddest, but not the greenest. And now he's I can feel he's going to start fighting, so I stopped reeling. I'm just kind of pulling back the rod. He gives the slack, I start reeling in. Let's see if we can get a little more aggressive again. I'm just gonna hold back a bit just because I want to be a bit more aggressive. Okay. Hopefully we can bring it in before the tournament ends. But I mean, the fact that the fight takes long, it just means it's a big fish there, guys. And to get the big fish, you do have to bump up your line. Otherwise, uh, I don't think you even catch them in the game. And if you do, you're just going to lose them anyway, probably. So you got to have a big line. I have tried the 80 pound, but I'm trying this burst of black line. I, I find like I get more bites on the predators. That's about 6,000 TP, I think I paid for it. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Not that hard to get 6,000 TP, guys. If you guys go do the offline tournaments, go to the channel, go watch the videos. Especially carp or bass, you're gonna, you're gonna get lots of TP so you can get those lures you need. Alright, guys, about 13 yards to go. Still not sure what we got here, but it's probably a pike or a muskie. And again, okay, he wants to take it, I'll let him take it, and I'll try to get him tired. Here we go, guys. Oh, yeah, that's a beauty. That is a big fish. That is a big fish. That is a big fish. All right, guys, beautiful. Hopefully he'll get tired soon. <laughs>
Um, it's taken a long time to fight this fish, guys, but he's probably like between 50 and 60 inches long, so it's definitely going to be worth it. As long as we don't lose this fish, we'll probably get on the podium for this tournament. Again, I could maybe be more aggressive, but I'm being conservative because it is... I just don't want to lose the fish. I have lost big fish like this after fighting for a long time, and it's so frustrating. So very frustrating. <laughs> Alright guys, what's the biggest pike or muskie you have caught in Lake Boulder? Let me know. Comment below. As always, if you like these videos, give it a like. And, you know, help support the channel. We're a little channel. Don't even have 20 subscribers yet, but we are growing slowly and steadily. And I'm having a lot of fun making these videos, guys. Especially right now when the world is kind of crazy. And, uh... I like the feedback I'm getting. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Alright, five minutes to go in the tournament. This fish still doesn't want to come in. I'm trying to keep him in the red as much as I can. To see if he can get tired. Wow, he's big. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Alright, 4 minutes and 40 seconds to go. I've been fighting this fish for over 3 minutes, I believe. Which just means you have a monster in your hands. And hopefully we have enough time to catch another one. Because I don't know if we're going to land the podium. Unfortunately, we had a very slow start. The fish we caught weren't very long. A little trout. Uh-oh. little bass. Wow, I can't believe he just pulled that far. we got a General Sherman here, guys. <laughs> but as they say, patience is a virtue. Definitely don't want to hear that line snap on this. That would be extremely embarrassing. And yeah, holy moly. 3 minutes and 47 seconds to go. I was joking when I said I hope I can bring it in before the timer runs out. But <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Holy moly. I can't believe I had him so close. and He's almost at the 50 yard line crazy holy moly here we go I need a I need a different reel for this kind of fish I think at this point. Like my carp, the, the real use for carp. Oh man. Two minutes to go guys. Is it, is it gonna happen? Are we gonna see this fish? Is it gonna land us in the podium? Or is it just gonna be fourth, fifth place? <laughs> Two minutes and I have to go, guys. Have I been fighting this fish for six minutes? Oh my lord, guys. One minute and 50 seconds to go. Are we going to see this fish before the tournament's over? We don't. I don't know. I was pretty confident at the seven minute mark. But I am not that confident at the one minute and 30 second mark. Come on, guy. Come in. One minute and 30 seconds to go, guys. The heart is pounding. I don't want to snap the line, but I want to bring him in. Getting more aggressive. 
Come on, buddy. Get in here. Oh, boy. Wow. Come on. Only one minute to go, guys. Look at that thing. Woo! Yes! Awesome. Awesome, guys. Wow. Wow. Yes, 66 inches. 47 pounds. This is even bigger than the one I caught in that clip. Awesome, you guys. Let's see what this does to her score. And boom, first place in the last minute, guys, with 104 inches. Guys, there are some monster muskies in this area. I've caught two of them in two sessions, so they are here. That was with the... I've caught him with the... Alright, so I'm going to go to catch summary here real quick. Alright guys, so we caught that with the Ocean Breeze Pro Chad, and we were twitching, okay? And um, I've also caught it with the Baby D Destroyer Watermelon Rad, alright guys? So you can try those out, see if you guys have any luck. And uh, yeah, with 7 seconds to go, pretty pointless to keep fishing here. Hey, you guys are awesome. Um, I really hope you enjoyed that. I love just beating my personal best. That's awesome. And uh, I love winning these tournaments at the last minute. Makes it a lot of fun, guys. So there you go. First position for this one. That brings us to 83rd position in the Predator. I wasn't doing very well, but... But um, anyway, yeah, that was a lot of fun, guys. Thank you for watching. You guys are awesome. If you like this video, give it a like. I hope all of you guys are staying healthy. Have the best day. Bye-bye.